What's up, you guys? My name is That Chick Angel, and my unpopular opinion is that when it comes to Black cinema and the things that we've held dear, we need to go ahead and take Love Jones off the shelf and put it in the trash. Um, Love Jones is a story about messiness, about Black women having to deal with messy, messy relationships, and us feeling like poetry is enough to get us out. It's about a stalker. Okay, okay, Lorenz Tate takes her address off of a check to go find her. And we see this as endearing because he can rhyme together some words to some jazz that we should feel like this is real love. No, and it's about her ex being a messy, <laughs> messy, messy, messy man. We deserve more as black women when we look at romance, when we look at romantic comedies. And Love Jones, I'm just gonna say it, is not the romance we deserve throw it away angel yeah every time you get on this show you never cease to amaze me love jones is a classic, uh, black classic mess. move not mess it is a classic black movie people have hated bill bellamy for years <laughs> <laughs> you better be been playing that character from there until the dog on Madam C.J. Walker movie. He made a whole career playing that guy. It introduced, not introduces, but Lorenz Tate. Yeah, the stalker. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Angel! We had a good I podcast. Question, it was a good a thing. Can you acknowledge that Nia Long was trash in there too? Everybody was a mess. Everybody oh, was oh. a hot higgity that's mess. Fine. But I'm just saying, we hold it to such a standard. And I'm just like, is this the romance we want in life? No. That's, that's real life, though. What they were going through is real life. You deal with real life slime balls at that particular time. Because I know it's a little dated when it, when it comes to poetry. Dudes, <laughs> were, dudes were writing poetry back then. You just now introduced Love Jones to somebody now. But like, who's who's? Where the poetry lounge at? I get that. <laughs> but now, but back then, when we were younger watching that, that's what you were like, dang, man, they going through the ups and downs, the trials and tribulations. And that's Love Jones. That was real. <laughs> the only thing good that came out of that was the soundtrack. The soundtrack was nice. It made you feel good. But I'm telling you, I remember going to see that thing at the movie theaters. I actually got in trouble because I was too young to see it. However, I still remember thinking, I don't want to love like this. If this is what it is, I don't <laughs> want it. But here's the thing. That's fair and that's logical and you're smart for thinking like this. <laughs> but like Keenan said, you're coming from a, you have a lovely house, a lovely marriage. You're coming from a sane place. Most people are freaking nuts. This is how they live life. And this is how the relationships are. So that's what it was like. I feel this because of all, the only thing he didn't do was punch her in the face. <laughs> like, yes, I need to be punched in my grill. Some people are messed up. And that's why this movie was so good because people are crazy. Keon, Keon knows me very well, and he knows I grew up in dysfunction. That's why I love this movie. Uh, and that's the thing. We that's romanticize why. dysfunction. We said, all I need is a, is a black man to tell me I'm the funk in his left thigh, trying to be the blues in the right. And that's it. That's all I need. And it's just like, no, he need to bring something else to the plate. Here's, here's the thing. This is, this is what I don't appreciate about what Angel is saying right now. She's acting like, in her 20s, she had it all figured out, okay? This is a story not even about love. This is a story about a young man finding himself, okay? He's on a path. He's on a path of entertainment. You know how hard it is to make it as a comedian? Now, imagine how hard it is to make it as a poet. Nobody <laughs> cares for poetry. Ain't nobody going to no, no TED Talks for poetry. You know how hard it is to make it as a poet? And for you to belittle that black man as he tries, <laughs> and he made strides in his career to better himself, you're going to belittle him? You know what Nia Long saw in him? She saw the potential. She saw the potential of what he could be. And you, you discredit that black man. You're part of the problem. I am. I'm definitely a part of the problem. And if they did make a life about my mistakes in the 20s, it would not have been that glamorous. It would have looked a lot more real. It would have been like, oh, he's trash. And we would have said it. He's trash. We would not have put it to the bass player real? in the back. He's, we he's, had writing, a he's writing poetry on a typewriter. Is that a computer? <laughs> if he messed up once, he got to start over from the top of the page. That's real as a gift, Angel. He in the trenches. Support that king.
<laughs> hey, I also, think, can I, I, can can I, I say one thing? I was going to say, every classic love story has like trials and tribulations. Uh, most of them, it's a guy that's getting cheated on. All of the classics have that. You got like Titanic. Billy Zane takes his feet You got Sleepless in Seattle. You got Twilight. You got the five heartbeats. <laughs> Dude slept with his brother. Our chick slept with his brother. So, I mean, I think it falls in line with all the other classic romances. You I, know? Think, I think she's forgetting the most important part about really? this. And, and men started doing this when this happened, too. After they smashed, the next morning he made her breakfast. After that, that was like a key thing. People, well, he, oh, he made me breakfast, girl. That means it's going to be like love, Joe. It's going to be love. That's what I'm People saying. People started doing that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I started, I started doing that. <laughs> it set up black women for more of the okie doke. They were like, well, Lorenz <laughs> Tate did it. I want a man that takes my personal information and finds me at my house when I never gave him my personal. It sets us up for the okie doke because we see these celebrities doing it in movies. And then we want to recreate that stuff in real life. But instead, we end up with domestic violence because they're not going to act like the Lorenz Tate. They gonna be me. It's just a trash movie. I'm but just saying. You're, you're forgetting. You're forgetting the the other the positives. For somebody like Keenan, he started making breakfast. For me, I was like, well, I never <laughs> want to make breakfast because I don't want any of this. So <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I didn't make breakfast until I had kids because I was like, yo, I don't want anything ever. I don't want you here. I don't want. Don't give me your name. I didn't even want to find you. How'd you find me? I <laughs> nothing. I didn't want nothing like that. It did positives. It left a, it left a positive impact on me because I was like, I'm not dealing with any of that. None of it. So I did everything he didn't do. I was like, I'm not doing none of that. And here's the, here's the, here's the thing. There is a certain element of, of movie allure about somebody finding your personal information and, and, and finding and tracking you down like that. But there's also a thing called the police. If somebody really did that for you, you just call them. You don't have to come out the house to entertain it. You had to, just because they found you at your job or your house, you got to interact. No, restrain and order. Have you ever heard of it? Because they exist is what I'm trying to tell you, Angel. And, That's, and, and I would have it. enjoyed Love Jones more had that happened. Had there been a restraining order in there and then they found maybe their love through that. But it was just all too much. It was, might as well have been frozen. There was no realistic thing happening. We might as well have had Olaf in there playing the bass, okay? <laughs> we might as well have had Anna playing the, tr the drums set in the background it was just too unbelievable and we've held on it for too long we well, need to how, let it go. How, how is somebody being stupid unbelievable that is the most believable thing, <laughs> <laughs> the most believable thing in the world stupidity is the number one thing it's better, it's better than covid more, than, it is more people than soul food stupidity is the number one <laughs> Destroying everyone. It's the common thread that links all of us. Everybody's stupid. We've Universal. all been stupid. Yeah. And Angel, I think you're also taking out of context the fact that that a lot of times women see men as projects. She saw what she mm -hmm. wanted to see in him, and she saw the potential, and she thought she could help him get there even before he was ready to get there. Now that's what you want in a good woman. Because let me show you something. I spent the last couple minutes. This is a picture of you and your husband. Okay. <laughs> Why are you in my hair. business? That's, that's him with no facial hair, but you saw the potential of what a beard oh. could do for him. You saw that potential oh. in that king. But you can't. You can't see the potential in that other king. You're a hypocrite of his face. Why are you in my hair? Your hair is on fire. You look. You oh, don't gotta tear down another king. Oh, you are a wild, bro. Oh. <laughs> you. Oh man. He did it, not, but I, he I went down your timeline for years. And where's the wet vote? But I'm gonna tell you right now. Had he been t uh, doing a uh, spoken word to me, we would have never made it because this is the face of a spoken word artist. No. <laughs> No. This is the face of somebody that greets everyone. Hey, Queen, how you doing? Listen, no. <laughs> my brother or the fraternity or whatever, whatever. We would no. like to invite you out to the poetry night. You see? Oh, no. man. Beautiful, no. beautiful <laughs> infinite goddess. If you wouldn't mind just, just granting me three minutes so I can bend your ear, Queen. Let me, let me highlight your, 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 your godliness, Queen. I got Queen. you. I got you. 
got you too. Bend here. your I ear. <laughs> That's before he put four kids in you, Angel. You let that man put two kids in you at one time. At one time. <laughs> That's real love, Jones, oh. right there. That's the real love, Jones oh. story. Not be listen. I don't this care what the- y'all say. Love Jones is trash and needs to come out of our list of black classics. I don't care if you love it. You need to really see what's going on in your heart. I stand by my unpopular opinion. Love Jones oh. needs to go in the basura. 